Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, October the 25th. It's the 20th week after Pentecost, and week three in the Psalm Cycle. And please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Alleluia. Psalm 48. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised in the city of your holy mountain. Mount Zion is beautiful and the joy of the whole earth, for there is the city of the great king. You are known as a refuge in her palaces, for the kings were assembled. They passed by together. They saw it and were amazed. They were troubled and hurried away. Fear took hold of them there, and pain like that of a woman in labor, like the ships of Tarshish scattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of God most high of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish her forever. We've waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple, your praise, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice, and let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion and go all around her. Count her towers. Mark her bulwarks and consider her palaces, that you may tell the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever and will be our guide until death. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 11, beginning at verse 27. While Jesus was saying this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that nursed you. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. When the crowds were increasing, he began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it, except the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the people of Nineveh, so the Son of Man will be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise at the judgment with the people of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. And indeed, something greater than Solomon is here. The people of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the proclamation of Jonah, and indeed, something greater than Jonah is here. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar or under a bushel basket. Rather, one puts it on the lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is unhealthy, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, consider whether the light in you is not darkness. But if your whole body is full of light, with no part of it in darkness, it will be as full of light as when a lamp gives you light with its rays. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, 
your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.